Hello, well you can tell what the weather's like. Welcome to another vlog. This is my rain gear, my, uh, did you see this before? My absolute bargain of the year, Sarah McCartney, on sale, online, um, probably cheap as chips because of the colour. Um, and it's all very much about um, pre-loved and cheap stuff today. Oh, move that out of the way. It's always in the way. What am I wearing? Okay, I'll put the details as usual. Oh no, John will do it. John always does it. This is, thank you, John. This lovely leopard style, leopard spot shirt is from Circles in Brighton, secondhand shop near the station. I hope I've got the name right. I'm sure it's Circles. Um, and this handbag is pre-loved from my other favourite pre-loved shop in Hove called Eternal. And this cheap belt was from Zara. I love it. I love the orange. And the jeans are old black ones from Zara. Um, and they were cheap as chips. And these are the not cheap bit, the new sketches. Right. Trying to avoid covering the microphone. Look at that blue sky. Um, it's gorgeous when the sun comes out and the wind dies down. Anyway, I've come to see, before we meet Amanda, I've come to see the ducks. The hopefully five babies and a mummy, but they'll all be the same size now. But apparently they're sticking together and I've brought them food. Hello. Hello, you lot. Hello. Are you two of the babies? I've got your food. Look at that. How beautiful is that? When I move, I will still come back here at least once a fortnight. This will be my nearest proper village. Ducky. Food. Look at them all coming. One, two, three, four, five. There you are, all together. Come on then. Whoops. Very difficult to do this and hold the phone. Sorry. Look at them all. Look at you. You've all survived. You've all survived. Look at you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Which one's mummy? The big one on the end. Look at you. Haven't you done well? Oh, don't scare him. Don't be horrid. Oi, stop that. I bet that's the one that got lost for 24 hours. Here you are, darling. Go on, you eat. Oh, they're very hungry. Aren't you hungry, darlings? I, should, I think I should put this up for Monday Mindfulness on Instagram. And for those who don't know, before we have a bit of silence, these five fully grown mallards were this small, that small, when they all came to my friend's house asking for protection. And she reared them in a hen coop so they weren't stolen by the big birds and the seagulls. Oh dear, my Monday mindfulness minute was ruined by that poor child who had fallen in the pond. Poor little thing. And of course, being a boy, he was screaming far more than was necessary. But um, that lovely lady found my purse, his mother, found my purse on the ground. So that was lucky. Thank you, universe. Right, off to see the Grange and Amanda. Oh, we've got balloons. It must be a, it must be a celebration. We've got <laughs> balloons. <laughs> oh, where did you get those? Uh, just from the back. Are they the selling back. I'm selling them off cheap. Oh They're my God, one. thank you. Oh, let's do this on wide. This beautiful building. Full of famous artists, 
past and present. Look at this. Take you to all the best places, don't I? This is the little cafe at the back of the Grange. Both well worth a visit if you come to visit Rottingdean. Look at that blue sky. This camera lies. It makes things far bluer than they are, but it is a beautiful blue sky. Now, I don't know where Amanda is. I thought they were holding everything in the garden. Doesn't look like it, does it? Right, let's have a look at what you're wearing. Now, show them my, the T-shirt I gave you. The nice thing about this T-shirt is... I think you'll have to go and stand in the light. Can't see, can't, can't see it. Because everybody loves, here, here. Everybody loves what you wear. Look, this was, but it doesn't suit me. It suits Amanda. You love it, don't you? I'm so pleased you're wearing it. Goes so well with those trousers. Yeah. Yes, I got the trousers in through. I imagined them and there they were in a shop waiting to be discovered. I think I bought her in Brighton. In Brighton. Right, let's go and have a cup of tea. Hello. Hello, hello. It's Monday. I'm sorry I haven't got time to take you round Brighton. I've just had my nails done at Lane's Beauty. Um, and it's called Walking on Cloud Nine. And it's a gel. Um, that's all I can tell you. Oh, I can't remember what the make was. It begins with A. Anyway, if you want to know the make, um, pop me a line and I will pop it under there. What's it? No, can't remember. You know me with my brain. Um, I'll show you the outfits when I've charged the phone and after I've got home. Um, but yes, very excited because the man with a doggy who loved the house on Saturday, it's now Monday the morning, the day after the footy disaster. We don't talk about that. Um, he is coming back for a second viewing this evening. He wants to see it. Well, I want him to see it when it's dark. So, um, very excited and I'm dying to, I said to him to bring his dog and his estate agent was um, absolutely shocked. I went, you know, as well as I do. A dog owner wants to make sure their dog loves the place. And anyway, I need some dog love. Um, so I'll keep you posted on what's occurring when I have more news. Off to London tomorrow to see Dahlia. We're going to see Nikita and Leighton dancing. Those who watch Strictly will know exactly what I'm talking about. And that's all for now. I must go and get a bus. Bye. Listen to that rain. I'm in the downstairs room. Um, it's too dark upstairs. Emma, anyway, I just wanted to show you after. Oh, I forgot to film the doggy. Oh, I was so taken with the guy who seems to want to buy my house. He's got a big labradoodle. Why? I'll see him again, I'm sure. I think he's going to make, what have I got these in? I think he's going to make an offer. Um, I'll keep you posted, but he really loves the house. And I can see him here and his doggy loved the house. And he said, look how happy he is. Oh, such a lovely man. Um, anyway, I just wanted, yes, I don't want to get too excited because it means moving really soon. Well, as soon as they can do the paperwork. Um, and that takes weeks, especially in the summer, as you all know. Uh, right, I'm just trying to show you what I'm wearing. I have my big blue bag, 
and I had rainproof shoes on. Of course, it didn't rain till he gets got here, which is quite good because it lashed it down. So he's now seen it in the best possible scenario and the worst. So that's what I went out with today. So look, nothing underneath, but bra obviously. Um, so it's warm. It's it's not hot, but it's muggy. So these are enough clothes. But the rain is going to be a problem going to London tomorrow. Anyway, I'll show you what I'm wearing. Dahlia will film me so I can show you what I'm wearing then. But I love this shirt still. And I love these jeans. Um, I can't really see well enough, but it's, um, it's, it's good tucked in as well, isn't it, actually? Probably better. Uh, but bulky, it's a very bulky top. Right, let's try it properly tucked in. Too hot, it's really muggy. I'm not complaining, I love it, but listen to that rain. Everything looks better when you stand with your hands in your pocket. Pockets, doesn't it? That's why the models do it. Models. Um, right. Shoes are from Soul Bliss. Soul, S-O-L-E. Bliss, especially for wide feet and bunions. I have very wide feet. I don't have bunions yet. And they're very comfy. These jeans are from... I've forgotten already. French Connection. They're from French Connection. Um, but I love them because they look very vintagey. And this top, of course, was from Rixo. So I hope you like. I'm too hot to actually tuck it in. So I'm just going to leave it like that. I like it both ways. And I love my nails. Gorgeous colour, aren't they? Right, more tomorrow. And hopefully some good news soon. Bye for now. Okay, sorry. Too much of a hurry to film. Bloody purple Mac. Ah, it's just as it could pour with rain. And I don't want to get this lovely new dress uh, ruined. Right, I'm nearly at the Royal Opera House. Weirdly, I'm coming to see Professor Brian Cox here with Trudy, who used to look after Jack, um, in two weeks' time. Uh, but we're not eating there in two weeks' time. And weirdly today, we're not going to the Royal Opera House for a performance. We're going to Drury Lane Theatre Royal and um, to see Leighton and Nikita from Strictly. I don't know if I told you that in a previous bit, um, but Dahlia's booked us in to the Royal Opera House restaurant. You wait till you see it. Anyway, we're in coffee. In 110 yards, oh. arrive at Royal Opera House. Here we go. I'll do some more filming. Go away, man. Don't need you anymore. Ah. Anyone else driven mad with Google Maps? Oh, dear. Right, I've tied my hair back because it's a bit blowy at home. It's actually really warm here, so I won't need the smack at all unless it pours down. Right, let's go and film the outside. I'm nearly early. Lovely area, isn't it? I'm trying not to film that ugly, ugly lorry. Coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up. And there is the Royal Opera House. How awesome is that? And there, I'll do a close up, is where we're having lunch. That beautiful glass bit. Here it is, but unfortunately, the restaurant where I thought we were going is closed. Look at that amazing roof. I'll film Dahlia when we get back. Is that what you order? What did you order? What the hell's that, Dahlia? The carrots, they look like... <laughs> Say hello to everyone, they love you. Look at, they look like little sausages. Dahlia. 
We both, there's something wrong with both of us. At this age, are we becoming completely useless? They arrived and Dania said, that's very big for a start. I went, it's the main course. And we suddenly realised, ten minutes later, that we didn't order the starter. Anyway, that's our view. Actually, it's a really nice view. Mm. That's a beautiful view. Right, I need to charge my phone and get on with our lovely, lovely lunch and your turds. <laughs> right, we're in the Drury Theatre Royal. Drury Lane, there she is, looking sultry, with her Mac on. Oh, that was a good picture. Oh. <laughs> oh, I haven't worn this before. I've got boots on in case it rains. Very old vintage boots from Australia. And that's it's my lovely denim dress from, of course I can't remember the name as usual, Dahlia will tell. Can you tell us? I can't read. Great, Dahlia's just read it for us because I can't see. A line, A-double-L-O-G-N, Donald, what do do do? It's denim and I'm very hot. Do you want to be in my video? Oh, you look so pretty, come at me in my floor. Um, and I'm really hot. And I bought the purple raincoat so I'm going to look like a purple Kennebong if it lashes down. Thank you, Dahlia. Sorry. Right, Dahlia's taken her Mac off and we've made it. Leighton and Nikita. Beautiful theatre, isn't it? Right, here we are in Covent Garden. Oh, there they are doing the cleaning. Much cleaner than Brighton. Um, what did we think, Leighton and the Keto? Oh, sadness. We saw the, and we saw, sorry everybody, that was the penultimate show. Yes. The Keto is starting on Strictly in five days. I mean, gee, they were Brilliant! How brilliant were they? They're fantastic. Brilliant. But, I really enjoyed them. But, and they were so happy together. Oh, it was just gorgeous. Anyway, we're going to walk around Covent Garden, so we'll take you with us. Lots of independent shops in. Oh well, is Sketches isn't. Paul Smith isn't really independent. But it's a nice. There's nicer places to take you. If I can find them, you'll love it. Paul Smith, gorgeous shop for men. Is this from Paul Smith for the ladies? Ooh, ooh, I've, I've never been into a Paul Smith for the ladies. handbags look at this little scotty dog like this is a good shop dahlia what are you up to i like that bag mm, nice. i used to get free bags from them we're in gokia which is, um, I've been meaning to come here for years because it's really famous uh, because the woman who owns this restaurant runs the, I hope I've got this right, the Petersham Nursery near Richmond. Sorry, I'm trying to do this from the table. Um, so all the food we're about to eat is from their nursery all their farms and it looks delicious and we've got limoncello and prosecco dahlia's looking very happy 
Sorry, I would have filmed more of us two, but it's raining. We're going in our favourite shop. Can't tell them. Get an umbrella, TK Maxx. <laughs> TK Maxx, I can get an umbrella here. Yes, fine. Oh, look at these. How much are they? She's off. £14. Well, I think you'd be rude not to get them, wouldn't it? They're amazing. Are you going to get them? I've got, I've got a couple full of sunglasses. No. <laughs> no. What else can we look at? Do you think they've got umbrellas here? Oh, of course, they don't know what I've bought. I'll surprise them when I get home. They look pretty swish, those suitcases. They do look. They've got lots of suitcases here. Did you not see them when we came in? They look really expensive, don't they? Mm. I like mm. this. Ooh, I like these. They're not cheap at all. 119 reduced from 250. Wow, so they must be a good brand. Oh, oh, I like. Aren't they nice? Right, folks, I can't show you the outfit. Um, I'm wearing that new skirt from Pioneer that I never actually got a chance to wear till now. Now this, we're going flat hunting. Oh, let me tell you about Leighton and Nikita first. Now for everyone who's not in England, um, I think you call it Dancing with the Stars? I don't know, anyway. We have a programme in England called Strictly. Used to be Strictly Come Dancing. Probably is still Strictly Come Dancing, but we all call it Strictly. And um, Nikita and Leighton were a male pair. Did they win? I can't remember, but they were absolutely stunning. And Dahlia and I went to see their show, as you've probably just seen. It was fabulous, but not only because of their amazing dancing, but because they told us lots of little anecdotes, like um, they watched the England football match, the Euros, the night before, and um, Leighton drove Nikita mad because he kept saying, why has he got a yellow card? What does all that mean? I don't understand. And anyway, it was very funny. The little anecdotes were lovely, and they genuinely, genuinely, really, really adore each other. They clicked. Um, but one's heterosexual and one's gay. Uh, but Nikita said, the heterosexual one, um, that he will never do Strictly with another man again because Leighton is so, so special. So we loved it. And it was the penultimate performance. So we're so blessed and thrilled that we went to see it. Nikita is starting training for Strictly in five days time. Oh my goodness. I won't even go there with all the dramas that we've seen in the English press, but at least we know Nikita's in this year. Right, okay. I've had a lovely lunch with Janie. Didn't do any filming. Did I even do my food? I don't think I even did my food. I'll show you a picture here or a video. Can't remember what I did, but it was Ivy Asia, delish. Now we're going to, I don't think I want to live here. This used to be my favorite place in Grand Avenue because you see, listen, the sea's only just down there. So it's much nearer than the place I love. Um, but there's no concierge here. And there's no, listen, no birdie tweet tweets, just seagulls. But worth a look and I'll take you with me and um, that'll be the end of the vlog. I'll come back and report to you before going home and sending this to poor John John. Just got to put it all together on a Thursday. All right, my darling, see you later. Sorry, let's see the exterior. So this is the Art Deco building in Grand Avenue. It's rather lovely. You can tell I'm really partial to Art Deco. And there, and there at the end is the sea, so there'll be a good sea view. And right at the end is, I 
think you can just see her. There she is, Queen Victoria. And interestingly, noisy already. People don't keep fit on a tiny bit of grass. So, um, oops. Look, look, it's doggy friendly. Look, it's a little doggy. And come and see this lovely Art Deco entrance. Actually, really nice, isn't it? Oh, very nice. Very nice. I started yet? Sorry. This is Jasmine, <laughs> looking gorgeous. We're on. We're on the top floor. We're on the top floor. We couldn't find the flat. <laughs> Teeny weeny kitchen. Nice and airy though. But the saddest part is there's no birdie tweet tweets. There are no birds here. Nice view though. This is a lovely building. Nice and light, isn't it? Oh, no bath. Now that's a big no-no for me. Yeah, I've got to have a bath. I love my Epsom bath salts. Whoa, look at this. What's this, the bedroom? Yeah. It's quite small, isn't it? They're all small though, aren't they, inside? What a lovely view yeah, though. Lovely view. Jasmine, the view is amazing. Look. That's where I used to live near there. Adelaide Crescent was my first flat. There's the sea. Yeah, you can lay it out with this the way through. You can have this as a big double bedroom. Or have a slightly smaller one at the back. Uh, is it not two bedrooms? Yeah. Oh, it is two bedrooms. Oh, yes, they obviously used this as their bedroom. Mm -hmm. They've got this strange thing on the wall. Yes, yeah, so I see. Oh, lots of cupboards. Well, this would be my spare room and dressing room. Oh, nice cupboard space. Oh, yes, it's getting better. Oh, so this we think's the master bedroom. Do we? Look at that. I'd say, if you're using the other one as a bedroom, I'd say that. Um, they've got a double bed and here, but personally, because this is the biggest room, I'd use this as a living space. I guess I can't work out what's what. Oh, this is bigger, isn't yeah, it? So but where's the balcony? Bigger. The balcony's not looking out over the sea. No, you get a side view of it, don't but you? They sh yes, the pictures look like it was... I mean, you've got... Oh, you've got... Yeah. Yes, 360 eye. Oh, it's, it's nice. It's better than I expected. And I love the fact that it's at the top. Mm. Lots of storage. What's the heating business? Is it communal? Or is there a boiler? Oh, and are there any appliances? Yes, yeah, so you've got built-in fridge freezer. Oof. That stinks. <laughs> yeah, oh. shut that one up. You've got a dishwasher. Oh, oh, that's good. Yeah, let's shut that. Washing machine? No. No, washing machine. It's too small, isn't it, for a washing machine? Yeah, unless you went up to three. I, I love the fact that it's top floor. That, to me, means everything. But this is a bit, mm -hmm. oh, don't mind if it's too difficult. I get, I get the vibe. So it's facing east. That's really odd because I'm sure they said it was facing west when I rang up, because it wasn't you, but this is definitely facing east because I live over there. Mm. Hmm. Not in love with it. Love the top floor. But it's not the one. But it's not the one. <laughs> you know when it's the one, don't you? Well, this is it. You it know. Stars in your eyes. You will know because I just grin from ear to ear and go, I love it. Right, there it is in the distance. Um, 
the corner balcony is the west facing. I love the top floor and the west facing balconies would be a hell of a lot better. I would much prefer that. Nice sea view, whoops, good area. Very near my friends. I still prefer the other place because of the gardens. Mind you, they did have a communal garden at the back. Um, and well, I think that's it, chaps. I'm going to leave it here. I was going to show you my outfit, but um, I didn't bring a tripod and I've got stains all over it from lunch. We had the most beautiful lunch. I told you that, didn't I? I'll just pop it here. See if anyone comes up and shouts at me. There we are. That's the t-shirt from Theory. And that's the skirt with the sandals from O Pioneer. But, um, because I've got stains everywhere and I'm not happy with this bra, um, I'm not feeling it today. I think I, sh I think I need sandals. I think I need the whole proper summer look with this skirt. So more later, my lovelies. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the flat hunting. I love those houses. I've missed the flat there as well, but we'll see. Um, onwards upwards. Did I tell you my good news? That the first man who walked in, the one with the doggy, he's made an offer. I've accepted the offer. Um, and he's in a hurry. He's in no chain. Um, but obviously I'm not going to celebrate quite yet because he hasn't had the survey done yet. It's not over till we've exchanged, but hopefully it's, um, I'll feel more relaxed once he's done the survey, but he's a lovely man. And I asked him to bring his dog for his second viewing and the dog loved the garden. So, and he just loves the house and the garden garden so he it, I, if it's meant to be it'll be um and meanwhile wick hall my thoughts are still with you did i tell you lovely melissa hello melissa said um she sent her husband to talk to the cu um, curator the um caretaker there so hopefully they'll know if any flats are coming up before the estate agents know so everybody is on the case for me and the more flats I see, you could tell that one wasn't for me. Oh, my heart just didn't sing. Um, but good estate agents, and the more I meet, the more stuff they'll send me to, and the more content there is for you to see. Shame that one was empty. You don't get any vibe, do you, when they're empty? But I hated the balcony and the kitchen and the bathroom, which didn't have a bath. So there you go. Okay, see you next week. Lots of love. Oops, look forward to your comments. And um, don't forget to pass me on. If you really enjoy anything, just say, look, have a look. Look, she's going around all the flats in Brighton. See you next week. Bye, bye, bye.